Welcome to Gray Young Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside this rectangle are two semicircles, the blue semicircle and diagonal. We have a diagonal AD and it touches uh, the two identical semicircles at point EF and this uh, with that we have this uh, segment AD or the diagonal divided into three equal parts and we are required to find the area or the total area of the uh, blue semicircles combined. Okay, so as I have said on our previous problems, we if we have uh, circles in this uh, circles in a, in our problems tangency, then we can actually find uh, right triangles uh, for this fig in this figure. So in our case, uh, let us draw the radius via this for circle on for the semicircle with center G. We can draw the radius from G to, from the center to the point of tangency at E. And we actually form a right angle. And therefore, because of these three sides, this is actually a right triangle. And also from the point or the semicircle with center H. So we draw a line towards the point of tangency at f and of course this is 90 degrees and therefore we form a, a right triangle okay so next is we draw another line from point a so point a to the radius of this i mean the center of uh, semicircle with center h so we actually draw a line in between the two equal segments. These two equal segments are uh, AC and AF because uh, via point of tangency, this is the two points of tangency. If you have two tangents that intersect outwards, so the point of intersection is actually A. So, which means that these uh, AF is equal to AC because they are two tangents. So with that, uh, uh, we say that AC is equal to AF. Okay. And uh, actually, it is given that the width of the rectangle which is AC is equal to 5 and is equal it is equal to AF but it is also given that via the point of tangency at E for circle I semicircle G the segment AF is divisible is uh, can be divided into two equal parts given as given by the problem. So, we can label this as AE plus EF, so 5 is equal to AE plus EF. And uh, it's given that AE is equal to EF, AE is equal to EF, and therefore we have we can actually replace this uh, AE with EF. So EF plus EF. So 2EF is equal to 5. So EF is equal to 5 over 2. Or shall we say AE is equal to EF equal to 5 over 2 units but actually our goal here is to find the radius of the semicircle because if we already have the radius then it is all only easy to find the 
uh, area of the two semicircles na combined area. Okay, so but before we find the radius, we need to find first the uh, length of the rectangle. And we uh, earlier we got this value of this uh, AE, which is the one third part of this diagonal. So uh, to get the total length of the diagonal, then we just simply multiply this by 3. So uh, AD is equal to 3 times AE. And AD is equal to 3 times 5 over 2. And that is AD is equal to 15 over 2 units okay so next is we get the length of this uh, rectangle so the length of this rectangle can be uh, obtained by Pythagorean theorem if you look on uh, any of these triangles or uh, which is formed by the diagonal with the sides of the rectangle so let's say if we uh, look on triangle ADC. So ADC, the one leg is 5, the other is unknown, which is CD. And the hypotenuse is AD, which is 15 over 2. Okay, so we can actually get CD. So CD. CD is equal to the square root of the hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is actually 15 over 2. So 15 over 2 squared minus 5 squared. So CD is equal to 225 over 4 minus 25 so we can we have the lcd to be a 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 225 minus 4 divided by minus 4 so uh, times 25 so that will be 100 so square root cd so cd is equal to 125 over 4 square root of that and if we get the square root of this then we have is equal to the square root of 5 cube over 2 square so inside remains 5 and we can get this 5 square outside so we have 5 times 5 square root of 5 I mean all over 2 so this is the value of the length of the rectangle okay so next is I want you to focus on this uh, triangle this triangle A uh, G B so it has actually this angle Let's say this is uh, theta. And it is actually a right triangle. And uh, we can also find another angle that is equal to that inside this figure. So that will be this angle. So this angle is actually should be also theta because of alternate uh, interior angle. So alternate interior angles are always equal to each other so since we have here a two parallel lines which are the sides of uh, the length of this rectangle the two parallel sides and they are cut by a diagonal or a transversal which is AD so AD so since AB and CD are parallel then these two angles should be equal. And 
Okay, so if you focus again on uh, this triangle AEG, uh, if one angle is theta, then let's say that this complement of this theta is alpha. And then, therefore, uh, for the two, for a right triangle, for a, I mean, for this triangle to have a similar one, similar, another similar triangle, then uh, the angle should be alpha, alpha and theta. So in our case, if we focus on uh, this next triangle, this triangle uh, C, A, C, D. So this A, C, D is actually uh, the right triangle which is which has an angle of uh, theta so if the uh, one angle is theta then the other angle should be its complement so it should be alpha okay so by angle 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 theorem or angle 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 similarity theorem we can say that these two shaded triangles are actually similar to each other. Okay, so as I have said earlier, uh, we are actually looking for the radius of the semi blue semicircle. So we already have this for the larger uh, right triangle. We already have the length, the length, and it is the width is given so and for the smaller triangle we don't we are looking of course for the value of r and we already got the value of this ae if you look on the smaller right triangle okay so we can uh, with respect to theta we can actually uh, use the opposite over the adjacent side so for theta, the opposite is, for theta on triangle AGE, the opposite is R over the adjacent which is AE. And for the triangle ACD, the opposite side to theta is 5. And the adjacent side is the length of the rectangle which is CD. And that is 5 square root of 5. Or shall we say first this is CD. CD. Okay, so substituting the values that we got earlier. Uh, for the value of AE, we have here 5 halves. 5 over 2 is equal to 5 over CD, which is uh, 5 square root of 5 over 2. And we can actually uh, cross multiply. So we have R is equal to 5 times 5 over 2 all over 5 square root of 5 all over 2. We just cross multiply put this 5 halves to the numerator of the right hand side. So we can actually cancel this 2 and this 5. And we have R is equal to 5 over square root of 5. And we can actually write 5 as square root of 5 squared. And on the denominator, we have square root of 5. So we can cancel this out. Therefore, we have r is equal to square root of 5. Okay, so now that we have got the radius, which is square root of 5, it is now easy to find the area of the two combined or the combined semicircle, so the area 
uh, for this is actually two because they are two identical semicircles times uh, pi pi r square over two because it is a semicircle so we just cancel these two therefore we have area is equal to pi r square and since we have got in the value of r to be square root of 5 so pi times square root of 5 squared so square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5 so we have area is equal to 5 pi square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.